Yeah. I'm Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Uh, recently I was contacted by Bofang Official. They'd seen my video I, done, I had done on this radio, the UV-17, the orange one, and wanted to know if I wanted to do a video on... Well, they didn't say it, but they said maybe not a fake one? I don't know. I don't know if this one's fake. But they sent me this one. I have to tell you, the, the screen on this is way nicer. So I told them, sure, I, I'll check it out. And I'm kind of glad I did. It uh, puts out pretty good power. Spoiler alert, more than they say. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Pretty nice radio. Feels great in the hand. Better than the UV-5R. And I guess this is kind of replacement for the uh, UV-5R. I don't know. They still sell the UV-5R. But this is, I mean, I say a step up just in the quality of the uh, the radio itself, just the way it feels and everything. It, the only thing that I will say, this radio had a USB charge at the back and both batteries screw on. This one doesn't have the USB charge, but this battery fits it and it works. So if you wanted to upgrade, you can buy the battery on Amazon. I'll leave links to the battery and to the radio and maybe even the old radio, which if you like the orange, the screen on this is not near as good. This one you can almost read in the uh, in the sun. You can see it. This one this one's pretty much gone when as soon as you get in the sun. Go into the, the shack and uh, check out a few things and we'll just show you a little bit about this radio and then we'll come back and, and talk about it. Okay, let's take a look at uh, what's in the box. This is the box, I've already unpackaged it. Uh, typical Bofang box. It's got the uh, world on the front there under the Bofang. This does say that this is a uh, made in China. Bofang UV 17R walkie talkie for the US. Don't want to scare my little dog. So what's in the uh, box was the uh, manual. Pretty well written. I did find a mistake or two, but uh, uh, one of the uh, menus it said it was seven, it was actually six, but later in the book it was actually correct. So there's the book, and it goes through telling you about what's on the radio. Back in the weather shows you how to get in the weather channels. It does do weather channels, and uh, there's a special way to do that. And then back in the back it uh, gives you all the things. 99, let's see what it says here, 144 through 148, TR, TXRX 420 to 450, TXRX FM 78 to 108, receive. It says power is 5 watts and 2 watts. Channel spacing uh, 25 wide and 12.5 narrow. 999 groups of memory. memory. Uh, transmission current 1700 milliamps receive sensitivity there that right there is a uh, 0.25 UV 12 DB synad uh, it, the smoking aid would has a way of testing that I don't really have that uh, rated audio output power is 1 watt 16 ohms receive current uh, less than or equal to 380 milliamps uh, connection for accessories is a two-pin Kenwood jack. So it's got the normal two-pin Kenwood jack. That is for the for like a microphone or um, also for programming. I will show you some programming uh, software from Bofang. I don't usually do that. Uh, maybe in a later video I'll try it out. All right, and then 50 ohm impedance. So that's all the specs on it. So what else it came with? You got the big lanyard here. So a lanyard. I don't hardly ever use those. Uh, it came with a belt clip. The belt clip actually attaches to the radio, not the battery. So it stays all the time. I don't usually use those either. Sometimes I do, depending on how I'm using the radio. It comes with the 007 uh, setup here, the headphone and microphone. So it comes with a charger. Now, <laughs> This charger, when I first got it, I put the radio on it, and then I remembered that sometimes they don't fit. It comes with this adapter. So I guess this charger is actually made for multiple radios. It goes in, it goes in one way. It goes this way, you, you put it down in here, and then you push the bottom. Then the radio fits, and it charges up real nice. I did charge the battery, the battery in the radio so we could do the testing on it. Now for what you've all been waiting for, let's look at the radio. All oh, the radio did come with an antenna also, nice little flexible antenna. 
All right. Now, if you guys know my channel, you know that I had purchased another UV-17. And that was this orange one. I really like the orange. But they are a little bit different. Um, you can see the speaker holes in the same place. All the buttons seem to be relatively this, the same. It's got the same flashlight on the bottom. Pretty much the same uh, buttons on the sides. And over here, this is where your... Uh, I'll show you the new one. This is where your... Uh, mic or your chart or your cable to, to to program it goes there regular kenwood style so virtually the same but i want to show you the biggest difference let me turn them both on here look at the difference in the screen guys this one's terrible i already showed you guys that before let me see if I can get it fairly close. Oh, it went off already. But uh, much better screen on this one. And you actually can see it outside. Still not great. So let's look at a few more features. So we have the light switch here. Push that once. The light comes on. Pretty bright. I like that they put it on the bottom. So, you know, you can kind of use it as a regular flashlight now. Let me turn that off. It does have the flashing modes also. All right, you have the push to talk button here. And uh, that works really well. Now this down here is for your FM radio. And I will say I'm at a really bad spot. We'll turn it on, we probably won't receive anything. And if we do, I'll probably have to turn it off. Let me turn it up. It really doesn't receive very well here, but that's that's not abnormal. I have a terrible spot and to get it off you just click it again okay you have the uh, menu button that gets you into the menu and then the back now when you go into the menu this is zero zero if you go back it tells you the firmware version the other radio i didn't see that in there at least not in the same spot and it has 45 different menus now what was there was an interesting one here it has a stopwatch check this out guys so we're gonna we're gonna check that we're gonna hit the hit it just like you would and now we're gonna select it again and now you get this little stopwatch in here I don't know if you guys can see that all right and to make it go I have no idea why this is in here but who knows it might be useful for somebody and to stop it you hit that and then you hit out or back all right if you guys want I'm gonna go through the menu real quick and we'll start We'll start at zero. Let me hold it up and I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to go through. You guys can stop it if you see something you like. Has all the normal stuff in here. And I will say, I reset the orange bat, the orange bofang or whatever it is. Let me see. Let me tell that story in just a second. I can't talk and push the button at the same time. All right, now we're back to, oops, one more time. That's 43, 44, 45, and back to zero, and back out. Now I did I did do a, a, hard, a hard reset on the orange one. If you guys do that, make sure you figure out which one gets you back to English, because I had to go through every one until I found it, because I didn't have the book with me. Learn from my mistake, guys. All right, so it's a... As, as, as the other one was, this is a, feels really good in your hand, better than your uh, UV-5R, and this is pretty much, I guess, a replacement for the UV-5R. The antenna is pretty nice. It's pretty flexible versus the, the one on this one was kind of stiff, so you, you take a chance of maybe breaking something a little easier with, with that one. Now, we're going to do some tests with it later. Oh, let me, uh, let me take the battery out. And um, we'll check that out real quick. All right, so one thing that's different about this, it's the same on this one here also. It has a screw that holds it in. And I guess that's probably, I forget what the rating on this thing is for waterproofness, but I guess it's just, a, it's more secure actually, but kind of, you have to have a screwdriver or you know, a dime or something to do it. But it's okay. 
Now, I will also note that if you look at this one, this one has a USB charge in the back with a little LED light. This one does not. But I will tell you, that battery fits this radio. Okay, so we have the uh, it says Bofeng Amateur Radio. It has the FCC logo. I do believe this one is probably legit. Uh, I don't think the other one probably is actual. I think it's a fake. And it has the, uh, let's see... 1800 milliamp per battery, 13.32 uh, watt hours, and a charge limit of 8.4 volts. If I can, we're going to see if we can check this and see if it actually puts that out. I think I have a way of doing it, but I need to check with somebody to make sure I'm not killing the battery. All right. So, pretty nice little battery. I mean, it's nothing, it's not huge, but it should last, you know, at least all day, hopefully. And that just slips in here like this. You push this down and you take your screwdriver or whatever you have. Too much coffee this morning, it looks like. And you just screw that down until it's snug. You guys don't over tighten this because it did look like it was going into metal, but you don't want to strip it out. And it is pretty secure. That's how the battery works. And like I said, I will try to test that battery and see if we can um, see how many million, <laughs> see how many amp hours it actually is. Or So, all right. We'll get on to other testing with this thing. Um, it's a, it's like I said, man, this thing feels good in your hand. Very substantial. Not like the UV5Rs. And maybe we'll try to see if we can make some contact, see what it sounds like on the air. All right, this is the Shearcom SF20. Now, don't get freaked out. I did put an antenna on top of it, but it, it has a dummy load. If you see right there, the 50 ohm dummy load. 20 watts maximum. I don't think we're going to blow it up with this. The first one is going to be frequency counter. So let's just push it. 146, 520. So it's right on. That's good. So now we're going to go to power. This is high power. 6.36. So a little over the rated. 6.36. That's more than it said. Let's go in here. We'll... Um, Oops, went too far. Pick that. We're going to go to low power. And out. Let's see what low power is. 3.19 watts. 3.19 is holding. So that's good. I'd say that passes. That's a good test. <coughs> All right. So we're on low power right now. Um... Four four six zero zero zero. So let's just see what the frequency says on that. Yeah. Four four six zero zero zero. Good. Okay, so let's do the power. High power. Four point two six. Okay, that's pretty good comparatively for what they are usually. So we'll pick this. We'll go down. We'll hit low power out now it shows l now low power 1.6 so not as good as two meters but that's normal all right so here's the bofang site i will put a uh, link to this in the uh, description down below and i went to downloads and then i went to uv series and if you scroll over here you see uv 17r clicked on that now i already downloaded this and i'll bring it up for you Okay, after you uh, download it, you open it up, this is what you get. It comes in a smaller thing. I just uh, maximized the size of it. It doesn't say UV17 up here, but I guess this works. I I'm not a person that does this all the time, so I don't really do this. But I think late in a later video, I will go into this and play around with it a little bit. And, uh, and if I do, I'll do a video on it for you guys. So I just wanted you to see what the, uh, the software looked. And this is from Bofeng. So... It should be it should be good, and it it was for the UV seventeen. Say you're listening on the radio, you you hear a repeater, and you don't know what the CTS where the tone is for it for CTS. So if you go into here, menu, and you go into menu and and number fourteen, and you press, you see it says off on the scan. You press this now it's scanning. You see the numbers moving. Hopefully you can see that. Now this radio here. 
is uh, on six seven right there. So I'm going to go ahead and press it so it's scanning and it'll stop on this tone. There it is right there. That's how you find it. Learn this from my good buddy, the Smoking Ape. Thanks, Ape. Pretty handy thing to have. This is the audio from the UV-17 into the FT-60. Test 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 3, 2, 1. Test over. KK-6USY testing. This is the receive audio of the UV-17. Test 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 3, 2, 1 from the FT-70. KK-6USY testing. Okay, I have to say, uh, it's a pretty nice radio, from a, especially for like $25, guys. This, <laughs> uh, is it a Yaesu or an Icom or a Kenwood? Probably not. But for a cheap radio, and a, a starter radio for most people, and that one part where I showed you where you can pick up the tone of the channel that you hear, or the station that you hear, that's a pretty cool uh, option. I, other radios may do this. I know one of the, I think the UV5R or 6R, something like that does it. I saw my buddy the smoking eight test it out and that's what reminded me about this so if you guys did like this please hit the like that helps people like yourself that want to find my videos it makes it easier for them to find them okay and if you're new here hit that subscribe button hit all and uh, that way you'll get all my future videos i'm chuck kk6 usy for hammer adventures thank you for spending your time with me and 73 all and hope to catch you guys on the airwaves